hello people in this video let us look at this concomitant squint so basically where are we we have we are looking at strabismus or squint under that we have two types heterotropia and heterophoria or heterotropia now this how do you find out there are two tests here like hirschberg test and cover test let us look at these also what is this hirschberg test you're just using this uh, torch and you're checking the corneal reflex okay it's a rough but um, hand method to estimate the angle of manifest squint so here what we see normal white dots you see the white dots both are at the center what is this left esotropia see here the eye is inward right that is why it is esotropia but you can see the corneal reflex is outward okay so if the reflex is outward then the eye will be inward esotropia now what is this hyper right hypertropia so the eye has gone up right hypertropia so the reflex is down you can see the white dot is down here it is in the center is it clear this is hirschberg's corneal reflex test hirschberg's corneal reflex test same thing you should apply for exo and for hypo okay anyways where are we we are looking at heterotropia hirschberg test we can check and cover test also let us see what this cover test is okay cover test cover test means you will cover the eye right let us see so here you can see it's tropia definitely you can see this is left esotropia you can directly see that now you are covering the right eye when you cover the right eye the left eye is moving out so this is <clears throat> showing right uh, left esotropia is it clear guys here your whatever eye you are covering you are not seeing that you are checking the other eye so here they have covered the right eye and the left eye is moving inward that means it was outward so that was exotropia left exotropia similarly <clears throat> this uh, our right eye they covered and the left eye is moving down so that means the eye was up so that is hypertropia left hypertropia then then this one uh, they covered the right eye the left eye is moving up that means the left eye was below so it is left hypertropia so we are done with this part of it now under this there are two types concomitant and incomitant see right heterotropia it just means that it is manifest concomitant means the gazes the angle of deviation sorry the amount of deviation is same in different directions of gaze please focus here this image we are looking at concomitant concomitant squint is a type of manifest squint in which the angle of deviation remains constant in all directions of gaze and there is no limitation of ocular movements this guy has no limitation of ocular movements and his angle of deviation is same in all the gazes now let us look at a different one this one is incomitant they are saying where the angle of deviation varies in different gazes guys do you think this is incomitant is it the correct picture this is definitely comitant okay concomitant these people have no restriction in ocular movement basically just remember this okay these people have some underlying i some other eye disease okay some other eye cause which is leading to the squint so we are here right concomitant basically these people will have some hypermetropia myopia some other eye disease <clears throat> and the squint develops from it okay so the squint is uh, they are using their eyes in such a way to compensate for the disease that the squint has come okay so here they will not have any limitations in ocular movements in any direction that is what you have to remember okay so if you correct this cause right like hypermetropia myopia or some wrong spectacles they are using or the disease of the eye if you correct they will be fine so that is why they have shown here that if you give them uh, some spectacles they will become fine right or then you will have to go for eye surgery etc let us look at this concomitant in detail okay uh, causes they are saying so basically our binocular vision and the coordination of eye ocular eye movements they develop uh, only uh, around 3 to 6 months and the entire thing 
is complete only by 5 to 6 years they are saying for some reason this binocular movement didn't develop why because of refractive errors refractive errors pro prolonged use of uh, incorrect spectacles refractive errors you can remember hypermetropia myopia prolonged use of incorrect spectacles so some defective vision right and isometropia some corneal opacity these people have lens itself has some problem cornea has some problem the macula has some disease like central chorioretinitis the optic atrophy is there obstruction in the pupillary area due to congenital ptosis so they had some that is congenital ptosis means what so this is one eye and this is one more eye and this ptosis and it's covering the pupillary area obstruction of the in the pupillary area due to congenital ptosis so something not to see correctly these people are you uh, making the squint these people can also have motor obstacles motor obstacles means uh, they are saying the shape of the orbit the size of the orbit the um, extraocular muscle may be having some wrong insertion right uh, some wrong nerve wrong innervation faulty innervation mild paresis what is that now so they have problem with their eye right they either have refractive error they have accommodative error or some problem they have then they may have some central obstacles now what is the central obstacles central obstacles central obstacles means they may have some deficient fusion fac faculty that means like they said everybody has a little heterophoria in the world but their body our body tries to balance that imbalance but these people they don't have that capacity of fusion so they have deficient development of fusion fac fac faculty or these people have some mental trauma ex and this uh, during teething when their teeth are erupting there is some hyper excitability of the central nervous system some reason but they have a manifest squint remember the causes are something other than the extraocular muscles uh, themselves right the disease of the eye or some uh, um, uh, muscle insertion is not proper or the orbit size or shape is not proper or uh, the pupil is getting blocked like they said pupillary block could have happened in one of the eye or uh, central some hyper excitation is there etc etc as such it is not what you should remember here is it is not paralysis it is not a restrictive movement of the eye the innervation to the uh, muscles are uh, fine here the muscle as such are fine but they may be having some faulty insertion something like that is a concomitant remember the gaze all the gazes the angle of deviation is same in different gazes and there is no problem with the ocular eye movement the movement what did they say the ocular movements are not limited in any direction the ocular movements guys focus here the ocular movements are not uh, limited in any direction there's no limit in any direction here right in con a committent they have specific words okay like convergent squint divergent squint they have and like and all other squints they have esotropia <clears throat> exotropia hyper all that they have okay apart from those words they have some other words also like alternate squint monocular squint and as if that much was not enough to confuse us, they have some more called as horizontal concomitant strabismus, vertical con uh, vertical concomitant strabismus. This horizontal concomitant strabismus becomes vertical incomitant. All that is possible. Okay. When it becomes this horizontal concomitant strabismus becomes vertical incomitant, there will be some AV pattern, etc. That AV pattern we have seen in this uh, uh, incomitant, right? where they said that in different uh, uh, there will be different angles the angles will be different in different gazes so some av pattern etc so this concomitant types let's move to this so uh, types actually if they ask you will have to write you will have to write convergent divergent vertical and then what else is there that's it convergent divergent vertical same these words will come only here but otherwise what is the meaning convergent means eso divergent means exo vertical means hyper 
normally if you see hypo they don't put anywhere everywhere they are putting eso exo hyper only okay nobody wants to look down i think okay so convergent divergent vertical convergent concomitant convergent squint or esotropia is the most common type of squint in children it denotes inward deviation of one eye see these people can have amblyopia etc okay that means development uh, the the visual vision uh, the way the brain accesses this vision or processes this vision may be defective in one eye that is called as amblyopia lazy eye and all that so in this again they have so many types okay like it can be unilateral unilateral means what this one, there's one eye that deviates inward and uh, the second eye will be normal okay so that takes fixation otherwise there can be alternating alternating means either of the eye devi deviates inward and the other eye takes up the fixation okay then what else is there so under this itself they have all this they have infantile infantile all these are esotropias remember convergent means esotropia only so you have infantile eso esotropia then uh, accommodative esotropia accommodative esotropia then they have talking about see if it is accommodative then they will just give some uh, refractive accommodative no, refractive means they will give if it is hypermetropia then they'll give correction spectacles so accommodative means it will be refractive means like hypermetropia etc they'll give the correct specs non refractive means uh, what will be the problem accommodation because of accommodation they will have problem right that will be an accommodation error so refractive error or accommodation error begin correct those things okay then there is mixed as you should so here you have refractive and non refractive means what accommodation error etc right and they have some mixed then what they have under this acquired non accommodative esotropia see remember we are all under esotropia only as of now so they have acquired non accommodative esotropia what is this acquired see this was infantile and then they have some refractive error or accommodation error then acquired non accommodative this is non accommodative here they are talking about some essential acquired or late onset esotropia not going into the details then they have sen sorry esotropia guys we are done with convergent esotropia under convergent itself you have so many convergent eso 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 infantile eso accommodative eso non accommodative acquired eso sensory eso 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 all esos are over eso means what This is eso, yeah. Eye is inside. Okay. One easy one is there here. Consecutive esotropia. That means they went to do some surgery, and they overcorrected the exotropia, and it became esotropia now. My God. Okay. Then now there is divergent, right? Divergent means what? Exotropia. Con concomitant divergent squint. Exotropia. in this again same uh, congenital is there pri congenital exotropia is there primary exotropia is there then some constant exotropia is there so many things are there guys some secondary sensory deprivation exotropia consecutive exotropia that we can understand consecutive exotropia means they went to correct esotropia and they made it an exotropia okay then how to check for this uh, that we already saw here isn't it cover test hirschberg's corneal reflex test all this we saw then there is uh, some more test they are mentioning that is this one wurtz four dot test okay some some other tests are there then some after image test normal retinal correspondence esotropia with arc exotropia with arc what is this arc abnormal retinal correspondence it seems then this is some synopto four synopto four and here they are talking about the optical principle of the synaptophore so basically they have lot of ways of finding out if these people have some squint now how to fix this uh, what is the treatment guys you have to uh, give cosmetic correction actually right because they don't have did they complain of any diplopia and all no right actually in incomitant they will have this diplopia and all that because their amount of deviation varies in different directions of the gaze but here as such there is no deviation right uh, the deviation is constant in different directions of gaze here they are telling you go with cosmetic uh, 
like uh, for cosmetic reasons right you will give but you have to treat the underlying cause spectacles you will give with full correction of refractive error right so what exactly these people want you know they want cosmetic correction they want to improve visual acuity because obviously they can have some uh, refractive error or accommodative error right visual acuity then they want to maintain binocular single vision that means they want to see by both the eyes but they want to have single image okay uh, spectacles with full correction of refractive error full correction of refractive error then occlusion therapy so uh, if there is amblyopia then they will try to give occluder for the good eye so that the lazy eye starts learning how to see then orthoptic exercises tell them to exercise then squint surgery like uh, that's the last resort that they do right what is squint surgery so you will uh, do recession and make the strong muscle weak resection and make the weak muscle strong okay so if you remove a part of the muscle it will and you put it at the sorry you move the muscle back it will become weak or you cut a portion of the muscle and uh, fix it back that will become strong post operatively also you tell them to exercise nicely dear eyes that's it we are done with con comitent squint this is what this is a hyper what was that no heterotropic squint heterotropic squint uh, detect with hirschberg test uh, what is this cover test etc and then so many black dots test etc so many things were there so here basically these people will have some eye issue myopia hypermetropia refractive error accommodative error orbit will not be proper macula will not be in proper position pupil will be blocked some corneal opacity lens won't be proper to see they will be making the squint so their ocular movements as such will have no issue in any direction there will be no limitation in this you have convergent divergent etc convergent means esotropia divergent means exotropia correct it with correcting the refractive error everything you will try to correct the underlying cause finally you will have to do the surgery squint surgery okay that's all for now guys in the next video we will look at this incomitent there they will be diplopia and all those problems and there are two types in that paralytic and restrictive come back bye bye